So the beauty of this yurt living is you can take it down and pack it out. It is a big tent after all with a wood stove and insulation. Yeah, near the winter. So yeah, we're four season, totally. Luckily we have, uh, we have had a lot of sunny days, so the pelt's warm. You gotta maintain these. Because if you don't, they can mold with the fire. Oh, you see the smoke? So yeah, it's a nice little unit. Oh, I'm looking for the the uh, chopper. See, this block would work down there, but I have to carry it. <laughs> I'm carrying a camera instead of this wheelbarrow, but I got a wheelbarrow right here. And uh, put my gloves on. And this, yeah, I also need to do the burn barrel. You know, we have a burn barrel. That's on the uh, composting toilet system where we use toilet paper goes in there, just papers. And then we can also thing. And it's a great time to have fires because you have uh, control. All these forest service fires, they burn in May when it's warm and dry. And here you really do it the other way. So yeah, these are designed to disassemble and assemble, so you technically put this on a mule train or even ATVs and you go up into the forests and uh, you set up your, your temporary camps and you do wood trimming. You know, I could do more here definitely, but um, yeah, it's working a section and cleaning it up, section of forest, so it's Let's see, I need to take out these other branches that are touching the ground. They're all dead, so I got work to do. There's always, there's a thousand things to do here. Yeah, these need to come out. There we go. And these branches, firewood, or you put them in the goalies where the erosion is and you capture, yeah, I should fill this with uh, uh, brush and that would get that all built in. See, that's a project there. And so as this rain, the rainy season, knocks these little rocks down, it's just sand. It's just decomposing granite. And uh, I have my diversion dam but then water comes off, so it's a, they're doing the swales and uh, directing the water around, that sort of thing. So you gotta do that. Okay, yeah, sun's setting down. Let's go inside. It's warm. It's really quite different. You ready to go inside a traditional Mongolian yurt? Here we go. Okay, you gotta keep a curtain in front of the door. Keeps the heat in. And uh, got my work table and my north wall and my east wall. And my southern wall and in the center here with the wood stove and the natural light above. And my objects, it looks like it's messy, it's comfortable, but 
to some people it looks messy and uh, yeah I could tidy up but it's all functional I'm using everything in here not much is sitting still except what's on the wall but even there I have a drum yeah and it's like this would be like a seed tray and I'm actually using that it's just empty right now this nice thing I got at a yard sale my bed and things like that it's round you can you kind of live in your own storage unit I don't have a storage unit and so all my objects all my tools and my toys and my clothes and things I care about and my food I got my own kitchen and my hot rock that keeps my hands warm uh, I guess it's it's this uh, November 24th today and uh, yeah there it is inside of the yurt Okay, I gotta put the night, the cover over the lid. The lid is clear and it lets light through, but it's thin and heat escapes very easily out of that hole. So I have a, I'm gonna use this cord. So yeah, you set up these lines on here and you pull, it's kind of like being on a ship. So there, I straightened up that sail with the blue on it, you see it? So let's go around to the other side. This side's okay. And I'm working through the pole side. Straighten that up a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's pull. Go to the, the front cord, which is long. You get a longer one, it's bigger diameter. And you're like, oh, that's it. And you pull your line over there it is and this goes right in place then you can secure it on your rung here just do a simple hitch and you hit all four points that way so you do a lot of walking around your you're always securing things yeah you pull that over it okay, it's okay if it butts up against the stovepipe because the double wall through the fabric and uh, it's just cool enough that yeah it doesn't burn as you manage, you manage it pretty well. Okay this side got the cord and goes through to secure it and you just tie a simple hitch that's usually enough friction and then one more there it is. Okay, yeah, it's pretty much there. Straighten it a little bit. Pull it tight. There we go. Okay. So that thing is relatively secure. And then that's like an extra blanket. It's dark in there now, so there's not very little sunlight coming through. You want to see how scary I look? God, this guy here. What is this guy? How a pirate looks like? There it is. Yeah, do my thing. Got my glasses. But underneath, whoo! I gotta clean up my mohawk here. <laughs> Feeling it, yeah!